What's up guys, In the Void here with more subscriber replays for you from World of Tanks, daily subscriber replays, and um, this video was sent to me by Kasky, not in a clan, driving his tier 8 American heavy, or I'm sorry, medium tank, the Pershing, really awesome tank, kind of a, Pershing was a late war tank, it actually saw a little bit of action toward the end of the war, but not a lot, pretty much almost none, um, which is kind of well, I guess that's pretty normal even for the German line. The Panther, well, the Panther 2, yeah. I think it saw a lot more action than this tank, but still. Um, so this is El Halouf Encounter. Seems like it comes up a lot in replays. It seems like the replays that I get, I really would like to see newer maps in the replays. If, if, if at all possible, I know people, you know, you don't get to choose, pick and choose. And probably the reason I'm getting so many replays from the older maps is because people play them so much that they know them like the back of their hand and makes it a lot easier. So... Cassie's going to show us a really awesome uh, place to sit on this map and encounter if you're a medium and you're doing kind of some support damage roll, which I think is a good idea for the Pershing. It's not overly maneuverable. Um, it doesn't have a huge pen gun. It's really not that great of a uh, tier, tier 8 medium tank. In my opinion, the T-44 is better. A lot of people might argue with that because the T-44 has some pretty glaring weaknesses. But the T-44 has really pretty amazing uh, maneuverability, and to me... That's really what uh, medium needs. But Pershing's still a pretty good tank. I still like it. It's got a great turret uh, and armor on the turret. And with the gu American gun depression, it makes it great to do stuff like he's about to show you. So this is a great spot to sit for not only scouting, but to do stuff like this. T-54 is in the cap, right? It's their tier 9. They're only tier 9. Boom! Right in the back of the turret to not only reset the cap, to get some nice heavy damage on them. Scouting these guys off the hill right here. So the, the friendly team can ruin their days. T29, probably a better matchup against the Pershing in a, in a straight up punch you in the face match here. I don't think I'd do. I'd be going face to face with that guy. So T T59 strategy here to just sit in the cap or T54 and just get the kill is kind of stupid. Now, Kasky I think does kind of does it wrong here. He should be preserving his shots a little bit better for this kind of opportunity. Boom! Again in the back of the turret where the armor is super weak on the T-54. Getting the nice shot. That, this shot, I would not have taken that shot. Just chill, man. You, you've got plenty of time on the counter. Here's another shot at the mantlet. Yeah, then I, it's not going to go through, buddy. Um, so remember, just conserve. He's going to move his, his turret. He's a dummy. See, he did it again. And he hits the rock. Again, Kasky, be a little bit more patient. You know, just sit right there. Don't even move. Just leave your gun in that one spot. You know, yeah, you obviously got to back up. But really, still doing a good job. You know, I'm not saying this is, this is a horrible job or anything. Just trying to help you out. Just trying to help everybody out. With, with uh, really need to take your time with your aim. Not only do your shells cost money, um, you're, every time you shoot, you give away your position. And you get, you uh, basically take up an opportunity to possibly get a better shot. Now, the upper plate of this T, I want to say T-34, is not the greatest, but it's highly angled. I would probably go for the lower plate. He did catch him on the apex and get the, get the nice damage. See, he rolls out right there. So, don't always just fire because your gun is loaded. Make sure your shot has a really high chance to pen if you're getting those kind of opportunities, like this Tiger 1 right there on the side. Great opportunity to get some damage. So the enemy team just totally steamrolling Kasky on this 1-2 A through C area here. They should have an easy time steamrolling the friendlies. Highly, highly angled top, uh, top plate on the T-34. It's actually angled even more than it would be on the flat ground since he's kind of pushing up a little bit. Not a great op uh, shot there. So at first I thought, oh my god, this T-29 is pushing Kasky up there. This is really not cool. A lot of noobs do this. Um, man, like, dude, stop pushing me. I'm, you're pushing me in enemy fire. What are you doing? <laughs> Another cool thing Kasky's doing... Oh, yeah, see, this guy's blocking him. Is doing, he's locking on, then he peeks over the, over the ridge, gets his shot off quick, and peeks back. So what's happening, though, is the friendlies are just getting boxed in. So it's really not this guy's fault. He's got nowhere to go, right? Kasky's got a lot more health than this T-29. And there, Kasky gets nailed in the lower plate, I'm just going to imagine here. Yep, because he's pulling up, you know. When he when you uh, come over the ridge like that, when you crest, your lower plate is extremely flat and exposed. And now, the guys from the A A12 Hill area are just flanking Kasky. 
getting behind him now. They've taken care of all the friendlies. And Caskey's got like five tanks to take care of now. Luckily, all these guys are heavily damaged, but still, Caskey at 1200, T69 autoloader, boom, takes care of the IS-6, who's not paying attention, and gets nailed by the T43, I want to say, yes, T43, 188 damage, T29 just barreling in, just trying to get, oh, and gets taken out by Caskey, because T29 is just being dumb. T69, a couple of shots into Caskey here, really whittling down his hit points, but gets taken out, because he's just, again, not playing it smart. These guys thought it was in the bag, and they rushed it. They totally rushed it. Plenty of time on the clock. It's five versus one or something like that. Four versus one. Take your time. Don't just rush in there, especially if you're one shot from death. And boom, this guy does the same dumb thing and pops out and gives him his whole side armor. Cassie's waiting for him to pull out. He's waiting for him. So he's like, oh, here, here's a shot. Yeah, good game, no kidding. Because these guys really just did not play to the advantage they had. Enemy team being morons. T-34, in my opinion, not a great sniper. Probably should have pushed with these other guys and maybe used his turret to his advantage a little bit and brawled a little bit. I think it's it's not it's not a bad brawler, in my opinion. It, and his gun accuracy is, is horror bad. Anyway, great game by Kasky here. A few uh, issues he can work on, I'm sure, just like all of us. Um, I, again, I'm not perfect either. Um, but again, great games. Please send your good replays to dgnetsubmissions at gmail.com. And I'll see you again tomorrow, guys, again, for another replay on daily subscriber replays. Uh, this is Ned Void saying stay frosty.